Hey everybody, Toadplayer64 is back and I am bringing you guys more Pokemon Coliseum. In the last one, we started to climb Mount Battle because bad guys have taken it over. We also purified a majority, all of our party members so far. Um, all of my actual team members, sorry. And in this one, we're going to hopefully take on Dakim. But first, I'm in my PC box because I was thinking I need some reinforcements for Dakim. Because Dakim has a whopping five Pokemon. I'm planning to use four. So, yeah. Let's just say screw it. Because believe me when I say this, guys, you want a lot of flying types. You want flying type Pokemons? Let's see how this goes. Because Dakium is, this is what we like to call a difficulty curve. He's not one to be trifled with. He's an admin for Cypher for a reason. He is very, very strong. So I, I kind of have an idea of how I'm going to do Dakium. Dakium has a uncanny ability. All of his Pokemon are very slow, but hit like trucks. Believe me, they will knock you on your butt faster than you can say, I choose you. So, my plan is to go with the troop that's been going with me the longest, Slugma and Feraligator. Believe me, you want I want Ampharos for later. But, let's go see this guy. What's up, dude? How's it going? Fine. After all the persuading I did, you still won't hand it over. <laughs> this is what happens to stubborn oaks who don't do as I say. Wow, can I get a slow motion of that? Hey, you treacherous swine, how can you refuse the battle? Ha ha ha! Treacherous? You think you didn't really think that a worm like you could win? All you had to do was hand over the time flu without making a fuss. It's your own fault for getting hurt. Since you're not cooperating, I don't have any choice but to haul you off to Ein's lab. You are terrifying! Hmm? Who are you? What are my underlings doing? That'll fit yours. You must be the troublemaker who messed with Scrub and Selby's forest. And now you're coming to mess with me, the great Dakium. Don't make me laugh. I'll pound a lesson into your flesh and bones so you'll never even think of bothering me again. Yeah! He probably will if you have the wrong Pokemon. Dakium, Cypher Admin, is going to have four Pokemon, starting off with Matang, Golem, and his latter two are Marshtomp and Camerup. I'll get to his last one in a minute. This is why I want to start off with Slugmon for Alligator. And all the playthroughs that I've that I've played through, he usually does this. So Surf will counter Golem, which uses Protect. Fantastic. For Alligator, Surf, okay. He's faster than Matang. That's good to know. So for Alligator is the fastest thing on the field right now. Um, yep. You can already tell Dakim's strategy is Earthquake Protect combo. Oh, no, not a crit. I didn't need that. Shit. There's a horrible way of starting this battle. I'm already down a Pokemon, and it's just the first turn. Um, da, 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 da. Espeon, let's do this. All right, bud. You are going to use, of course, Confusion on Matang. For Alligator's gonna use Surf again. Okay, Matang used Protect. That gives me a solid turn because I'm going to wreck Golem. He's a rock ground type and yeah, Surf, as you noticed in that montage, absolutely destroys the D Geodude family. Yeah, didn't, didn't even put up a fight. Well, I mean, he just used Protect once and Matang took out Slugma. His Marsh Stomp! Is a water ground type. His only true weakness is grass types. So if you started out with, um, if you started off with, uh, oh, what do you call it? If you started off with Meganium, congrats. This guy will be a breeze for you. But I'm going to use Confusion. Okay, good setup, good setup. Oh my gosh, yes. None of his Pokemon, neither of them use Protect. So it's quite possible he'll use Earthquake twice and kill his kills other team members. Okay, yeah, I'm seeing where this is going. 
Luckily, Baby Matang isn't a Big Daddy Metagross yet, so his attack stat is fairly, fairly weak. Okay, he's almost killed Marshdomp. With any luck, Marshdomp will kill himself. No, of course, I can't be that lucky. He does use Mud Shot, though, which lowers Espeon's speed if I'm not... Ah, dang it. It all, it all, I don't know if it always does, but it's a pretty high chance of lowering speed. So it's a good setup for Rain Dance because it will give Surf a power boost. Um, and it'll also give me the, the ability to flatten out the rest of his team. Alright, Matang is not going to go down as expected. He didn't use Protect again. So, I'm going to assume that he's going to be an idiot and use Earthquake again. I don't know why he hasn't been using his Protect as religiously as he usually does. But, okay, Camrupt is his final Pokemon. A fire Ground type. Four times weak to, you guessed it, Water. Okay, yeah, that didn't do anything. I'm not surprised. If Matang uses Earthquake, damn, Metal Claw. Okay, that's actually a very good thing. Okay, he took out Espeon. I have no troubles with that because since Feraligator is the fastest thing on the field, Ampharos won't get blown off. Super high-powered Surf, four times damage, and it will kill Matang too. Okay, this is a pretty good setup because if you haven't guessed already, I am terrified of his final Pokemon. Damn it! Damn it! Damn it! Damn it! Damn it! Damn it! The one flaw in my plan! Okay. Oh, this is gonna this is gonna be troublesome. Uh yeah, because I am terrified of his final Pokemon. If you thought his team wasn't hard already, guess what, guys? He has the legendary fire Pokemon Entei on his team. And it's a shadow Pokemon, so you don't want to be fainting it. If I was just fighting this on my own, I'd just surf. But it's a good thing I, did, I got uh, its paralysis done. Um, I'm thinking what I'm gonna do is Ampharos. Ah, oh, shoot. I'm gonna use. No. Oh, no. It's a ground type. Damn. Oh, I forgot about that. Oh, no. Very awkward position. Can use Cotton Spore on Entei and Surf. Yes! Yes! He didn't use Protect. Camper Up's dead. Entei live. Yes! Only half. Okay, we can do this. We can do this. We can do this. Entei, luckily, does is his only Pokemon that doesn't know Earthquake. Which is kind of weird. Why wouldn't you teach an Entei Earthquake? Okay, so Ampharos, Cotton Spore on an already paralyzed Entei, so it's not going to do anything pretty much. Speed harshly fell. Okay, Shadow Rush. Yeah. Uh, I'm going to say goodbye to... Oh, no, no, it's still fairly living. Uh, 63 times 2 is 126. So can Ampharos live another attack? Yes, he can. I'm going to do a weak Thundershock. And luckily, I didn't use any of my Ultra Balls on him on top, so I'm throwing one. I want to catch this thing. I'm not holding back. I'm not going to use any Poke Balls, Great Balls, Ultra Balls are main priority. Because their catch multiplier is times 2 as opposed to Great Balls 1.5. 2! Okay, good start. Good start. Ampharos, just, just scared a little. Scared a little. Okay, good. Add a, add a boy, add a boy. I don't even know if it's a boy. Okay, Shadow Rush. That's another one of my main problems, is that he keeps Shadow Rushing, which is recoil damage. Um, okay, Rain stopped. I'm surprised the Rain, even Surf with the, um, Cotton Spore again, and... Actually, you know what? Screw that. Ampharos, we're gonna heal you. We're gonna use, uh, Hyper Potion on you. Because I just want a bit, a uh, bit of, um, just a bit of leverage against them. Okay, so he's in the red, paralyzed Ultra Ball. I only have two more after this one. So my fingers are crossed that I get them. Alright, come on. There's one. There's two. 
There's three. Oh, yeah! Woo! Suck it, Dakim! Get schooled. Yeah, that went super, super well. I got $4,400. That's good enough for like three Ultra Balls, and that's it. The way you handle this Pokemon with your audacious skill. Who are you? Hey, Scrub Lord! Master Dakim! Ah, Scrub, you were hopelessly at class against him. You had zero chance of winning. I'm pulling out for now. <laughs> Funny. As you wish, sir. That's right, ladies and gentlemen. Not only have we uh, gotten the legendary Pokemon and what? Well, I found Donkey Kong, guys. He did drop an item, though. He dropped the F disc. Whatever that is, it must be important if he had it. Let's go help up Vander instead of celebrating for uh, how we how we got Entei. Oh, that was an experience I'd ever want to have again. I'm glad you came to my rescue. Thank you. I'm Vander. I'm an area leader here at Mount Battle. It's funny. These guys don't aren't even the tip of the iceberg of how strong these trainers are. Why didn't they call the level the flo uh, battle 100 guy to come deal it? Hmm. This is the time flu. This is nothing. I happened to find it while I was on my training trek. It said that the time flu will summon Celebi, but just once. Must be something about Celebi that frightens them. They obviously don't want Celebi to encounter Shadow Pokemon. Ah, uh, yeah. Based on that file we read. Yeah, that, that's entirely true. But here, I want you to have this. He gives us the time flute. The time flute is a full heal, pretty much. Instantly purifies any shadow Pokemon, but only once. And there are only two in the game. Sweet, we got TM47. Okay, so move deleters here. No, I don't want to do that. Sweet deal. So this lady is the coupon exchange. If you, um, if you, uh, do Mount Battle, you earn Poke coupons, which are used to exchange, like, they're, like, Poke coupons in other games. Um, and they have the TMs, TM29 Psychic, TM13 Ice Beam, TM24 Thunderbolt, TM35 Double Team, or 32 Double Team, and 35 Flamethrower. Very good TMs here. Unfortunately, you, you get 100 coupons for clearing area 1, 200 for 2, 400 for 3, 600 for 4, 800 for 5, 800 for 6, 900 for 7, 8, uh, 900 for 8, 1000 for 9, and 1200 for 10. If you clear Mount Battle, you can only buy like one of these items which is very unfortunate. So throughout your playthrough, you're probably not going to be able to get any of these TMs, let alone the berries, which the berries are very, very rare um, for your games. Leftovers are a good ability. Mental Herb is not really that good. Focus Band is good. White Herb is better. Quick Claw, which we already got. King's Rock, which allows you to evolve certain Pokemon. Scope Lens, Choice Band, a lot of the competitive items. So yeah, it's it's worth your time if you if you're gonna go get Ho Oh, yeah, might as well do this. Oh right, I gotta heal because my team got pretty decimated. Thank you. Hello, yeah, heal my Pokemon, please. Now, did I set my timer at all, or did I screw up and not set my timer? No, I didn't, cause I haven't been recording for 57 minutes. Um, just give me one second, guys. 15 minutes what will we do now well I believe that I'm gonna take the opportunity to switch out Yanma for our newfound Entei because believe it or not I was thinking of using Entei I when I first was in the planning stages of this of this uh, LP I thought for certain that I was like I'm gonna use Entei on my team but then as I realized, uh, that's very cheap. I'm not gonna lie. It's kind of cheap, so I'm not gonna do it. I'm gonna challenge myself. I'm gonna use Slugma. So that's what I'm doing. 
Anyways, we've freed Mount Battle. Um, personally, I don't really need, I don't really remember what to do now. So let's explore the map. What are our options? Let's go, let's go visit, uh, let's go visit Egan. Because he might know what to do. All right. So we're back at Agate Village. Oh, damn, I heard there's a big commotion on my battle. Egan's worried sick about you. Hurry home. Don't worry, I will. There we go, just heading here. Sup? Ah, oh, you're home. Are you okay? You're not hurting anyway. Sup, Egan? No, not Balach. Ah, damn, and Aiden, it's good to see you back. So, how goes it? Have you trounced that Crichton's that made Raiden Mount Battle? Yes! I expected nothing less than my own granddaughter. And of course, a, yeah, she was a big help. So Vanner confirmed the time flute upon you. Then what are you waiting for? Depart to the Relic Force and summon Celebi at once. I would rather not. PD uh, thing. So it is a very terrible idea to use the time flute now because there are shadow Pokemon that are still out there that I can guarantee you have trouble opening up their hearts. So yeah. Let's not do that. I might actually just head over to... How much money do I have? Not a whole lot, I don't think. $10,000. Uh, shoot. Um, what do I want to do? What do I want to do? What do I want to do? If we go out here, you'll notice there's a new area added to your map. The Mystery Lab, a sinister and menacing laboratory that was built in the desert without notice. Get in, losers. We're learning science. Oh. As soon as we get here, we get an email. From... Duking again. Aiden, this is Duking. We just nabbed a pair of goons that we think are taking orders from Mir B. They might be worth squeezing for some intelligence. The police have them in jail, so come to Pirate in a hurry. Well, Pyrite is interesting. The main gate is closed, and if we look around, we can't really do much, because there's a electrical fence surrounding this entire place. But what's very good to pick up now is if you go all the way back here, there is an item box, an item chest, that is not in the electrical grid, and it contains three revives, very good to pick up. Especially after you realize that you are extremely outmatched compared to Dakim. Uh, I don't know what I'm going to do about Slugma. Slugma's scaring me a little bit. No, not Agate Pyrite. If he's that fickle so far, uh, he's not going to fare well. Anyways, let's just go over to the, you know, bad guy place. The jail. Sup, Charles? The suspect we arrested haven't spilled any beans, not a thing. I reckon they're afraid of payback from their organization. Oh wait, Aiden, was it? Your PDA number, please. There you go. I'll be in touch with you just as soon as I hear anything. Sweet. Not in an ear. Hey, losers! Huh? You went and checked out the lab? Heh, <laughs> what could it be? I don't have a clue about what's going on at the lab. They said there'll be some new prisoners, so they split me and Folly up. But you know, the guys in the XL, those voices sound familiar. Listen, listen, Sh Chief Charles and I, we caught two more suspects. They came back to that creaky old building and we nabbed them on the spot. Good job. What's this? A jail key. Sweet. Hey, it's you. It's the chick Remoraid and uh, Mantine that we took. Get away from me. Hell no. Let's use the jail key. You guys are free to go. We were collared when we tried to sneak back down to the under. It's just another thing that goes with this and that and everything else you caused. It's all your fault. Mutter. Elevator going down. There's a key of some sort on her belt. Want to take it? You got her house key! No, you got the elevator key! Oh. Eh, I don't know what we're gonna do. It's... Uh, where have we seen that elevator? Maybe we should... Maybe we should head out to the uh, abandoned building again. Uh, can I get through, please? Ah, Dame's in jail. Let's use the jail key one more time and see what Folly has to say. Nothing? 
You guys, it's literally open right now. You can just leave. Yeah, whatever. Let's go check out that place that the uh, supposedly elevator key uses for. But in the next episode, I'm sorry guys, but this episode's gone on for long enough and it's been fairly eventful at that. Thank you guys so much for watching. Uh, if you like it, please give it a thumbs up, add it to your favorites, share it on Facebook and Twitter. Speaking of a Twitter, I have an account at ToePlayer64. You could follow me on there and be notified whenever I upload a video or post something cool or behind the scenes footage or whatever. And I also have a Twitch account. I also have a Twitch account at ToePlayer64. Also, real original. I know you can give me a follow on there and come hang out at a stream if you want to. Um, and if you like me and want to see more of me and more of my content and be notified whenever I upload a video, you can hit that subscribe button and be notified whenever I do in fact upload a video. It means a lot to me. Thanks guys. See you in the next one.